waiting for this one. Turn it up. Today's game day. Julie and I <laughs> are about to go get some acai balls. This is Gator Walk. It's where the team walks out, where we cheer a little bit. People are already ready. It's like 10 a.m. It's game day! I got the LED lights. We got white right here. We got blue right here. We got orange right there. We are ready to go. We're ready to start getting ready. It's currently 1236. I have to leave here by 3. So we need to start getting ready. Let's do this thing. <laughs> makeup and now I'm moving on to my hair. I've shown my makeup in a lot of videos involving cheer so I thought I'd like focus on the hair today. I sprayed some heat protectant in, just blow dried it because it was so wet from the shower and we're just gonna get started. I have to remember how I did this. doing my hair always like lopsided like this side is always lower than this side and i don't enjoy that it's because i have less hair on this side so like how do i fix that anyone anyone got any suggestions anyways look at this perfume it's michael kors white and it's very fitting because today is a white out at the game hence why we're wearing white uniforms but it smells so good little downer though my bow broke i tried to fix it but it's not it's not working out but i'm not too worried because i know that some of the girls on my team have been on the team for multiple years so they probably have extra bows we are doing very well on time my parents just stopped by we took a couple photos i'm not sure like how much i'll be able to see them before the game like i probably won't see them until after the game so they just came by said hello i have to leave in like 15 minutes i'm wearing my lucky socks today i wore these at tryouts i'm currently putting on my cheer shoes then i have to fill up my water bottle and hit the road i'm going to my friend's apartment on my team so i can ride with her on her scooter just because parking is so hard to find and i don't want to uber and <laughs> i don't have a scooter myself that's the plan i'm so excited i'm not nervous yet i'm like very excited i'm not nervous yet but we'll see when we get closer to the time but here's the final look yay everything's so clean and white even my teeth i whiten my teeth as you saw i'm so excited you can hear everyone just like rustling and bustling getting ready for the game people i know are literally ready at like 10 a.m this morning ready to start their tailgates we have gator walk which is at 5 30 and the game starts at 7 30 but we do like the pregame stuff at around 7 10 so we have a long day ahead of us i need to pack some snacks we're gonna have a great day i will let you know that i'm not allowed to film when we're in the room and i can't film on the field obviously so i will definitely try to get my parents to film some stuff and show you whatever i can so i guess i'll just see you when i see you
Okay, it's the next day. Um, I actually just got back from stunting with Zach, but I was like so exhausted after the game that I could not like pick up the camera and talk. If I were to talk, it would have been like, the game was great. <laughs> So I figured I would just wait until the next day to update you and let you know like how my night was and stuff like that. So let me start off by saying that this is my caption on Instagram, but the rumors are true. Cheering in the swamp is absolutely incredible. It's amazing. It's indescribable. It's breathtaking. All of the above. Like I had such an experience. It's an experience like no other. I cannot even explain it to you without you having to experience it for yourself. We had to do gator walk, which was like when the players first got to the stadium we kind of like line up there's tailgate tents on both sides it's like a walkway to the stadium and the cheerleaders are on both sides we just like do some cheers the band's out there we do some band dances and basically just get the crowd hype for the game so that was like pre pre-game right we got a little little break before we had to go back out onto the field stretch get ready for pregame. So pregame was a few minutes before the game actually started and that's when the band comes out, mascots come out, cheerleaders, dazzlers, gatorettes, like everyone is on the field. The band plays a few songs, again just like getting the crowd hyped for the game. And you know the cheerleaders we practice pregame on the indoor practice facility field and there's no fans. So having fans and being able to look around and like make eye contact with fans and like the front rows and stuff was so fun. I was not expecting, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting that. At the beginning of the pregame, I'm lined up on the end zone. So all the fans in the end zone seating section is like right in front of me. The band goes, da na 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 na. And then the crowd yells, go Gators. And like we practice that, like I said, but having fans there and having fans just like scream go gators that was when i got full body chills that was the moment i was like holy crap let's freaking go it was insane like i can't even describe it to you it was so awesome you know when you hear crowds yell it's like ah, but that's what it sounded like it was like go it was so loud that it sounded like a whisper, if that makes sense. So that was really crazy. And then the rest of pregame, the band is like right behind us for that too. And it's just so loud and oh my god, I had like chills the whole time. And then we go to tumble out when the players run out. And there's like a hype video playing. So we're kind of like looking around, waving at everyone. And you can like look over here. Like I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'm like watching the video, looking over here at the fans, just like taking it all in. As I'm taking it all in, I start like tearing up, I guess because I realize again, like this is literally insane. I'm about to tumble out and we're about to cheer a UF football game. So I teared up, I was looking at my teammate, we were all just like taking it in, smiling at each other. It was so fun. Like pregame was probably my favorite part of the entire game. And then we tumbled out spirited and then went to our sidelines on the sideline obviously we cheered i do like to document stuff so zach was my partner tonight zach if you're watching this hey good job i believe the announcer said there was about eighty six thousand people at the game thank you i will tell you though by the end of that four hour game my back was hard man i felt like a granny i was like Ugh. We won the game. Did I tell you that? Kind of important. We won. It was so fun being like right on the field and like cheering and like ah. It was so fun. But that was definitely an experience I will always remember. First game down, a few more to go. That's a Gator W. Oh, another really fun part was at the end of the third quarter, we do Won't Back Down by Tom Petty. And it's like a tribute and everyone has their phone flashlights out and they're waving it. That was another moment where you just like take it all in. Incredible, incredible. No other place I'd rather be. There's nothing else I'd rather be doing than being on that field on a game day at home in the swamp. But I had lots of videos. They're kind of bad quality because it's all the fans in the stands. Fans in the stands. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for you today in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, I know I enjoyed it. Like I said, definitely an experience, one for the books. I'm so excited for the rest of this season. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a 
thumbs up and if you're new it would really mean a lot to me if you would click that red subscribe button right down there and after you do all of that i will see you in my next video peace out